So if you've been watching my channel lately, you know that I like creating websites that either generate leads or income. So today I'm going to be taking a look at a type of website which I think is very important and also a great opportunity to make money with your WordPress website. Today I'm going to take a look at Directorist. This is a directly plugin which is very, very easy to set up. Now I was playing around with this with my Divi installation and this is what I was able to achieve. So as you can see, this is really neat. It's very, very well laid out and it is very, very easy to use. In fact, all these are short codes, which I can just go in and just enter in there. So let's dive in. Let's take a look and uh, see how easy it is to install and use Directorist. Stay on till the end because I have a special link that will give you a great discount. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's take a look at Directorist. All right, so I'm here in my WordPress admin dashboard. I've already gone ahead and installed Divi, but you can use this with any page builder out there. All right, so I'm gonna come over here now and install Directorist. So I'm gonna click on add new plugin, click on search. So we need to search for it first. So here it is, I'm gonna click install, I'm gonna activate it. So this is the first welcome screen that we get. So I'm gonna say, let's go. And here you can see that we have these four steps. So we need to uh, allow our system to add these recommended pages. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I also need to have all, cat in fact, you know what? I don't need all categories. Let's hit continue. We're going to go with the defaults. Next, uh, our type of map we're going to use, there's Google here and OpenStreet. You know what? I'm going to leave this uh, with OpenStreet. Click continue. So far, it looks like it's very, very straightforward to install. I like the interface, it's very clean and it's very, very easy to understand. So thumbs up for that one. All right, so let's continue here. I'm gonna skip the step to import uh, any listings. And then over here now it says visit uh, the dashboard or create your first listing. Okay, so let's go to our dashboard here. So there we go. So this is our dashboard. So you can see here, directory listings is our entry here on the top which I think is very straightforward. So here it says add new listing. We have locations, categories, and so on. So let's go through these. So add new listing is right here. So I can just add it here. We're gonna come back here and do that. Locations, so we can add new locations here. Okay, that's pretty straightforward. Categories, so I guess if you want to have a directory with different categories, you can add all your categories here. Uh, tags, directory builder. Okay, this one here is quite interesting. So I guess we can add uh, more custom fields here. So let's say we want to add maybe a date to this. I can just drag and drop it here. And now the date is added. So view count, if you don't need that, you can always delete that. So let's say I want to delete the tag. You can just go ahead and delete that. So this becomes now your form. Okay, these are your form fields. So I think this is really cool. I really like that. So let's just hit update here. Right, so next we're gonna come over here to the settings because I think here this is where everything needs to be set up correctly. So here we can also enable a multi-directory. So I'm gonna leave that as it is. And uh, here is the icon library. We have a few here, we have font awesome. I think I'll go with font awesome here. Okay, so we also have all listings here. So these are all the features that we have for uh, for all the listings. And I think this is pretty uh, straightforward to follow. I really like the interface. I like the icons. It looks like Directorist is a very, very easy to use plugin. Okay, so I'm gonna go through uh, each, and every, uh, each and every step here. I just wanna go through like the most important ones. So here are the pages. So this is where you can come over here and add all your short codes. So it doesn't really matter uh, what page builder you're using. You could be using even Gutenberg and just copy your, your uh, short code, paste it there and it will show everything that you need. And I think this is very, very good because sometimes when you use all these plugins, there's just too many settings to go in and uh, fix. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a listing and then add a few of these short codes and see what it looks like on my website. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so let's add our first listing. So I'm gonna come over here to directly listings and click on add new listing. All right, so I'm gonna paste my text in here and this also needs a title. So I'm just entering dummy text here because I mean, I can't be bothered to go in and uh, type everything out. My typing is really slow. All right, so here it's asking for a tagline. I'm gonna leave that as it is. The date here. Should we enter the date? Yeah, why, why not? So I'm gonna enter my date in here and let's also add the price. So we're gonna say 9,000. Uh, view count, I'll leave that as it is. 
So here we can also add contact information. So I'm going to hide contact from a single page listing. And then over here, we also have the address, which is, I think, very, very good. Let's see how good this is. So I'm going to add my city here. Okay, so we have Birmingham, West, in, uh, West Midlands. I think that's really cool. So I could uh, further go deep and enter my precise address. But you know what? I'm going to leave this as it is. And then here we have our images and video. I also like the fact that you can add your YouTube URL here or your Vimeo URL. But for now, let's add an image. So I'm going to come over here. Now I have a few images here in my library. Let's add this image here like that. And then you know what? I think this is enough information. I'm going to hit publish. Now I need to take a look at this page and see what it looks like. So now I've just opened this in a new tab and this is what it looks like. So out of the box, I think this looks really nice. I know the image is way too big, but here you can see everything seems to be in place. I've got my map here and as I'm scrolling through, wow. Okay, I really love this. You can also add your rating here if you wanted to. So I think this is fantastic because over here you can also add a review. You can view the profile here and yeah, pretty good. Also like the map as well. Right. So what I'm going to do next now is to add a few more of these listings and uh, so we can get like a grid and see how this is going to look. All right. So back over here, we're just going to do pretty much like how we did. We're going to, you know, uh, copy our dummy text here, add a new listing. I'm just going to paste it in here like that. So that's going to be my title here. So I'm going to leave the tagline and the dates. Let's add our image. Okay, that's my image here. And let's publish it. I know I've left out uh, quite a bit of information here, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, let's do one more. So I'm going to copy that and add another listing. So I'm just going to paste it in here. And this is going to act as my title. So now I have uh, three listings. Let's just add an image. I insert my image here. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's add a price. So let's say this is 20,000 like that. So we're going to publish that. Okay, pretty cool. So let's take a quick look here and see what this looks like. Again, I'm going to open this in a new tab. And here it is. Now, the image is a bit too big. I wonder if we can go in and try and fix that. But basically, everything looks great apart from this. All right. So now that I have uh, added all my uh, listings, I think that's looking great. So the next step now is to come over here to my settings because what I need to do is to customize all my pages now. So let's see how easy that is. So if I come over here to page setup, we can create a page for add listing. So I know right now, in fact, you know what? I did go in and... Um, allow this to add pages. Let's see if my pages were added. And yes, they were. So I can see now we have a ton of pages here. So let's take a quick look here at the add listing page. I'm going to view this in a new tab as well. And here we go. So this is what it looks like. You can add your listing in here and uh, enter your title, your description here, the tagline and so on. So this is for your users or your customers. They can just come in and add their listings in here, which I think is really cool. So the question now is, can I really customize this with Divi? So I'm going to enable the visual builder here. All right. So I'm going to use existing content. And I think all we have here is this short code, which is pretty cool. So I'm just going to make sure I uh, copy it because I want to add it in a different way. So in fact, you know what? Let me just delete this. So I'm going to go in now and redesign this by clicking here on my single column. And in here, we're going to add a text module. Now I'll let you know in a moment why I'm doing this. So I'm going to override this text and add our short code. So what I'm going to do now to give this a bit more customization is to come over here to design, go to text, and I'm going to change this font now to pop in. So, so let's say this is my font, the font that I'm going to use for my website. So you can see here, this has changed and I really like that. This is fantastic. Now let's see if we can add a background to this. So I'm going to come over here, add a background. And yep, I really love that. I like the fact that this uh, remains in that color. 
So this is looking great so far. I like the uh, customization. So uh, let's add a very light gray like that. We're going to go in, uh, give this some rounded corners. So we're going to go to the border here. So the reason why I'm doing this is some of you may have already gone in and uh, invested a lot in your page builder, but all these customizations I'm doing, you can pretty much do them in any page builder. I'm just going to show you how easy it is to customize this. So if I come over here now to spacing, I can actually add a bit more padding here to the top like that. So in fact, let's add it as a percentage. There we go. So do we need to add it to the bottom? Yes. So we're going to add this to both the top and the bottom. And I think that looks nicer. So now we have a design that fills the whole page. So let me save this and exit the Visual Builder. All right, great. So we can actually give this a title as well. So now this looks much nicer. Uh, we can go in, give this page a title. We can say, add your listing. In fact, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just going to duplicate this one here. And then go in and let's add our title here. Okay, so let's customize our text. Uh, let's make it all caps. Let's make it black. Uh, we can also make it bold here, like that. Increase the size. And then we can save that. So I think this is really cool. I like that. We can go in, customize all our pages. Okay, so now that we've done this, I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. So the customization is great. So the next step now is, okay, so if we are going to create our directory, how do we actually monetize it? And are there any other features that we can add to our directory? Because this directory right now uh, is free. As you can see, I haven't added anything else. So the question now is, what else can we do to our directory to really turn this into a money-making machine? And this is what I need to see, what extras they have, if this is really worthwhile. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to their main website. And in fact, you know what? There's a Black, uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday sale, 55% off. And for you to get all these extras, you need to uh, sign up for a membership. So I'm going to come over here to my extensions and take a look at all the extensions. Now, all these are premium extensions, which you can add to your directory to really add more functionality and make more money. So we have multi-directory linking here. Uh, we also have uh, BuddyPress integration, BuddyBoss integration. That's if you use um, any of those. Now, over here, we have Oxygen, Authorize.net. This is for payments. We also have a coupon code. So let's say you're running a promotion. You can always use a coupon code uh, to have all your customers to uh, sign up for the directory with a coupon code. I think that's really cool. I love that. Okay, so moving on, and we also have the Ads Manager. This is where you start to see how you can really turn this into a money-making machine. If you can uh, add all your ads, uh, make sure they are placed on different places of your directory and charge for those uh, spots, this is a great way of monetizing your directory. So you definitely need this type of extension. Moving on, you can compare listings. You can also uh, have this feature for rank listings. I really like this, by the way. We also have bookings and reservations. Perfect. So let's say this is a directory for, let's say, a gym for your local area. They can actually go in and make some bookings, you know, on whatever they have chosen to uh, to sign up with. I think this is great too. All right. So moving on, there's also live chat, mark as sold. This will be great for real estate or even for cars, for a car directory or real estate. Social login. I think this is great as well because sometimes we forget our username and passwords. So having a social login is really powerful. And I like this, uh, that it has this feature right here. Okay, so moving on, I'm not going to go through pretty much every single one of these, but you can see here that the membership is worth your while. So as we scroll through this, we also have capture to reduce any spam. This also shows business hours. Nice. Uh, and now here are the payment gateways. We've got Stripe and PayPal pricing plans as well. I think this is fantastic. And if you want to use WooCommerce, uh, WooCommerce is there as well. So let's take a look now at the pricing. So if I say get your plan here, uh, I've already gone ahead and signed up for this. There's a Black Friday and Cyber Monday offer. And I also have a special link in the video description below. If you use that, I'm going to do uh, even more tutorials to help you get up and running really fast. Okay, so if we come over here, let's take a look and see the pricing. So for uh, three months, normally it's 79, but you only pay 55 for the three months. So that's 30% off. And I think that's a great offer. Now, if you want this for a year, it's $99 per year. And 
All you need is just a few listings on uh, your website and this project will pay for itself. So that's how you need to look at it. I mean, don't look at the initial price right now. So just think about it this way. If you have, say, three or four uh, people that list on your website, that's pretty much paid for the whole licensing. And I think that's a great, great, great offer. Okay, so there's also a lifetime offer here. So if you're uh, one of those people that really enjoy just paying once for your service, there's an offer here. It's 449 one time. So you could go for this and it's definitely worth it. Okay, now what you can do with this lifetime is you can uh, add 100 websites. So if you want to create directories for other companies, this is the license that you need to uh, to go with. But of course, you also have this here for the yearly one. It's, it has unlimited website uh, licenses. So it depends which one you want to go with. But still, 100 websites to maintain, that's a lot of websites. So I would recommend that. Okay, they also have a money-back guarantee and some testimonials here. So I think you've just noticed that uh, in the setup and uh, in, in the basic usage of this, it is very, very easy to use. And in fact, you know what? I used to have a directory I used to run uh, years ago. It was really, really difficult to use. But with this, I was really shocked at how easy it is to set up. You can see here in a few minutes, I was able to set this up. And of course, it will take a bit longer to do the customizations. But the fact that all these uh, pages can be created ahead of time for you, I think is fantastic. All right, so uh, what I'm going to do now is to take a look at also their themes. So if you don't want to spend too much time with the design and uh, customizing it yourself, they have also themes here. Now, the themes are also part of the membership. So let's take a look here. So let's explore the themes and take a look. So these themes, you can see here, they give us a uh, brief uh, overview. So this is one listing, one listing pro. Uh, this is D place. This is for real estate. Uh, this one here is for restaurants. But anyway, you know what? Let's do a quick live preview. So now... We're going to uh, have an idea of uh, how these themes uh, look. So as I mentioned, these will be available for you to download as soon as you become a member. So it has a search feature here. So you can uh, choose here from the drop down. Uh, it also has an option to choose your, your city. Now, these are the, uh, the listings. You can see they're nice, beautiful, very clean. They look very professional. So if I were to, uh, for example, click here on this one, uh, you can see here we have uh, some nice images here at the top, which I think is fantastic. I'm really loving this. And in fact, I may even create a website and run a directory service, definitely. So uh, let's go ahead now and take a look here at more information. Wow, I love this. And then this is the contact info, business hours, and you also have the ability to add a YouTube video. I think this is really, really nice. Okay, so this is uh, if you want to choose to use a template. But of course, you know me, I prefer to customize everything myself. So I'd rather use my page builder for all of this. So overall, I think this is a fantastic plugin to uh, set up your directory. And as I mentioned before, I love working with uh, websites that help generate money. So this is one of those examples that you can use in trying to use your website as a money making machine. So I would highly recommend this. Uh, I've also spoken to the team over there at Directorist. Uh, they are very passionate about uh, the design. In fact, there's also uh, an app version, which I will be talking about uh, in the next couple of days. So. Overall, I would say definitely go for this if you want to create a directory for your local community, your area, and you can create pretty much any type of directory. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments box below. Uh, don't forget to use my affiliate link. Uh, I will be giving you a lot of tutorials on how to set this up and also show you my project that I'm going to be working on so you can see how I'm getting on with that. All right, guys, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.